everyone, my name is Mark Guzel. Again, I'm the tennis director at Lachlan Country Club. Just have another tip for you guys for your tennis game and to look to improve that. Uh, first, this today's session is going to be about topspin. The reason why we need topspin is because the harder we hit the ball, the more spin we need to bring that ball in. That's when you, what you see on the professional tour. A lot of the pros are using those topspin balls and also slices to hit their shots and they hit, hit it pretty hard so they have to find a way to get that ball to drop. First thing about topspin is we have to have a certain grip to do topspin. The first grip usually any tennis professional will teach you is a continental grip. Right here if I just simply act like I'm handshaking this racket and the web between my thumb and pointer finger are on this cusp of the racket that we are in the continental grip. Now if we are wanting topspin to become more of our shot we have to slowly move it the racket to our left. This is creating more of what we call a western grip. There's some extreme ones where the grip is right here and they're holding the racket and we do not want to go too far otherwise we're getting into the eastern grips but we want to stay at least a little western so our racket face is facing the ground if I'm holding it just like this. So the, one of the main ideas of topspin is our hand has to be below the ball or also our racket has to be below the ball. So I'm going to show you an example of what beginning players tend to do when they're trying to hit topspin. When I'm taking my racket back, I already have my grip that I showed you already, a western style grip. Many players mistake is to hit straight in a linear pattern right here. If you can see my racket, it goes straight. When I say hand has to be below the ball or the racket has to be below the ball, that means my racket must drop. This creates the topspin. This creates me an angle where I can brush up the ball and hit over it and swing all the way through creating that topspin. So the last part about finishing our topspin swing will be important because we have to finish our swing. For example, a lot of the beginning players tend when they come through and strike the ball, they tend to want to leave their racket face open, meaning that the racket face is pointing up into the air. Our job, if we're hitting a good topspin ball, is to continue closing this racket face so it's facing the ground. As I come to strike this ball, I'm going to brush over it and the finish of my racket, I'm going to keep that racket face following down and then of course finish around my shoulder. But if that racket face pops up like this, that means we're going to lose our control in our topspin. It must come over, brush and strike and ideally you would love to get to this position uh, as you're finishing your stroke. So as you can see, I kept my racket face down on the backswing. I also brought it below the ball, but the, on my finish of the swing, my racket face was open. Hence why you saw the ball go long and especially have a lot of air under it. I'm also going to give you another bad example of what some beginning players slash intermediate players do as well. So as you can see on that shot, I did a great job of keeping my racket face down on the ground, but I did not drop my racket or my hand below the ball. Hence why it went straight into the net and it didn't get any spin or height on the ball. So these are a couple examples of a good shot. If you can see the path of the ball, it kind of was like a rainbow. It had a lot of spin on it and also kicked up when it hit on the other side. I did a good job of dropping my racket. I struck the ball and I also came over it while finishing at this position and then continuing to finish on my shoulder. Ah.
So now that you know some of the tips about topspin, here's a practical drill that you can use playing against someone else. It's really simple. Honestly, it could just be as simple as hitting back and forth with your partner, but your goal for this topspin is to see if you can hit it as if there was a higher net. So imagine if there was a rope up here and you'd have to hit that ball above that rope every single time. You can now watch your ball and see if it has a lot of topspin on it. You can learn how to drive through it, get that ball deeper in the court and have that ball jump on your opponent. So this is a simple way just to hit back and forth and just watch your topspin kind of grow and progress.